everybody? It's Rodney Rock, and I make a lot of mistakes. Like doing YouTube? No, you're a crazy person. YouTube's not a mistake. Just in life, I like to do things that I've never done before, and I like to push myself to be better at the things that I've already done. But along this road, mistakes are inevitable. And for me, that's always been a hard thing to deal with. I know in my brain that mistakes are inevitable, yet I'm still deathly afraid of making mistakes. And when trying out something new and unfamiliar, you always run the risk of ridicule and rinsel. Did you just say rinsel? Well, yeah, yes I did. I had a nice alliteration there with run the risk of ridicule. And I wanted to keep it going, but the last word was insult. But they're just words. They're yours to manipulate. So I added the R to insult, even though the grammar police is sure to arrest me. But I don't give a fuck. Psych. Because I actually do give a fuck. Sometimes I care about what people have to say and think, especially if it's about my work. And even with the best intentions of being generous, positive, and well-meaning, you'll receive hate and vitriol from other people who don't share your point of view, which in turn can scare you into holding back, not putting yourself out there, scare you into not making a mistake. But mistakes should be embraced. Come here, little mistake. Come on, I want to hug you. But it's a constant battle for me. Because I do my best not to make them, but they happen, and it sucks. But Rodney Rock. How ironic that you say, I hate making mistakes. And yet, when someone points out your mistakes, instead of addressing that mistake that you have made, you rely on your fucking fans to do so. And I know from experience because you never once contacted me, ever. You, you, you basically just, you know, support your fans on what you could have done. You could have address the criticism that I have made on your video via video response or by comments. But instead, you rely on your pathetic fans to do so. And I have no problem with fans, you know, standing up for somebody else. I have no problem with that. But if you're going to rely on your freaking fans to do your dirty work for you, then you really are pathetic. What you do instead is just basically pat them on the back as if they're like, yeah, they're your freaking servants or whatever. That's pathetic. You should be learning from your mistakes. I already addressed the problems that you have in your arguments. And you have plenty of time. You have plenty of time to address the criticism. Especially in your other video about you about how you were receiving hatred for speaking out against feminism, uh, speaking for feminism or whatever, and instead of addressing the criticism that Spike Young and I have made, instead you just basically glorify yourself, shower in this, in this, just shower yourself in gold, thinking that you accomplished something because you were mentioned in some article. And you received so many subs and so many views. Congratulations! You got 15 minutes of fame, and now that 15 minutes of fame is now gone. And now you're still inflating your own goddamn e ego with your own fans. How pathetic! expect a video response at this time because you're probably too freaking busy filling your own ego and that is saying a lot I mean it wouldn't be that much of a surprise if you were a social justice warrior because guess what it's sort of a common thing you know not to address criticism and just see as this crit this criticism as nothing more as hatred towards women Dude, if you're going to say you should that we should learn from our mistakes, then at the very least you can address the criticism pointing out your mistakes. And if you're not making any mistakes, then you have some sort of obligation to defend what you have to say. If you don't do that and rely on your fans, then you're not really much of a learner. You're pretty much just ending up making the same mistake over and over and over again until eventually this mistake ends up destroying your entire YouTube career. But hey, 
It's not like you're going to take advice from me because, again, you're a feminist or you're possibly a social justice warrior. And I guess feminists, you know, have some sort of special card that says, I don't have to deal with criticism. You're a sexist. I'll let my fans do the old work because that's how social justice warriors, that's how feminists work. They don't address the criticism, they let the fans do it. They become damsel in distress, and they let all the white knights handle them because you're so fucking precious. How fucking ironic. You are a pathetic man. Just plain pathetic. That is all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.